Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Uchiha, the god man. I really love what the auto did in this chapter. First of all, please leave a like to just combat whatever dislikes the video is going to get because I don't know. You saw last video got like almost 3k views and I don't know what the dislikes are for because I don't know if people expect full chapters or whatever. So I look at the goddamn thumbnail. 12 year old <laughs> look at them thumbnail it says no pictures review only 119 it doesn't even say we care anymore remove that shit because fuck golly i'd rather less views and people that actually appreciate what i'm trying to do than more views and, and, and whatever the fuck last video was so uh <laughs> yeah please smash a like to combat that please we're really trying to go up and also subscribe if you're new here uh we're trying to hit 600 subs man we climbing up slowly but surely uh we slow down a little bit this month because i'm not really doing an ordinary and uh, that's where i got most of my subs from but it's okay i digress anyways this chapter was phenomenal i love what the order did here because he built up the previous chapter on gray gray is the one that's like oh shit he's gonna be the one and at the start of the chapter you see him he's molly whopping dean it's not even a challenge for a minute he's just bah, bitch slapping him giving him the rko the people's elbow the fu stfu all type of shit bro it was crazy it was a whole malak like he was just beating the shit out boy like slapping him with a hat in the face my boy's like shit i can't help it. then when he tries to kick he slides him on the floor he was put he was kicking him he was just tactically out maneuvering him out thinking him and just making it look easy making dean look like a goddamn scrub man he made him look like a baby i was like damn okay okay great relax man relax we know you tough you know what i'm saying and then uh our boy man rowan bro our boy rowan was getting molly walk Yu Shang was having a feel there on him. He's like, you all talk, bro. That's all you is. You all chat, but you ain't, you can't, you can't back it up with these fisticuffs. So he was just beating him, beating him. Teddy, Teddy was struggling against Grape. He was like, man, Grape way stronger than I thought he was. Like, this guy is strong as shit. Like, what am I supposed to do against this guy? And, you know, and D Dean recomposed himself after all of that eye whooping shit he recomposed himself he looked like he was about to start damaging gray because he only hit gray like once and i think i gray felt that shit on his shoulder because that shit left american shit you know what i'm saying and that's on his shoulder so i feel like if he connects a good few men gray might be struggling out here i really want gray to have a problem here even though i mean he did beat wolf so he shouldn't have that much of a problem but wolf gets hit a lot like and he didn't even get hospitalized he's just lost i don't know how he lost if he didn't even get hospitalized but anyway i suppose adrenaline whatever but <laughs> so they they come through chopping man and then everyone is like, hey, Teddy actually, he's having this inner in, in monologue. He's like, damn, like this is not the same like last time. Last time he felt so easy, but I forget last time we had Big Bear. Last time we had Big Bear. Big Bear was dealing with whatever. Somebody hit you, hit you too much, Big Bear is there. Pow! You know what I'm saying? Big Bear be fighting five people at the same time. And the main person he's fighting at the same time. Big Bear built different. So he's like, damn, it's, it's really different fighting without Big Bear and, and Alice Gogo. Like that, it makes a difference. Now, obviously, uh, Gerard is also not there. I feel like if they had Gerard as GG, they would win. They would win this pretty handily because I feel like Gerard would take care of Dean with the kicks. Um, but it, it was good, man. And then Yu Shang is getting cocky. He's out here, and then Teddy's like, "Oh, we kind of screwed out here, boy. Because even if Gray wins, if we lose, Gray loses because all of them can just attack Gray at the same time, and it's GG. So they, you know, it's kind of like we don't want to let our strongest guy down." You know what I'm saying? While I think for Big Ben, even if they all down, Big Ben will still be able to chop everybody else. And I think that's kind of the difference between him and Gray. Gray can take care of individual people way easier. Um, if they're not that strong, he can take care of a lot of them. But I feel like Big Ben would be able to take care of all of these guys by himself. While Gray would be able to take, e take care of each of them probably easier one-on-one -on -one than Big Ben would. But Big Ben would be able to handle all of them together easier than gray would you know what i'm saying it's, it's an interesting way i like i like how the power dynamics are working thus far i really like the the stylistics in the stylistic sense of that you know what i'm saying shout out to the auto for doing that uh but then we also got eugene man eugene is like bro even if i'm a punching bag bro i can't let this shit slide now he, he's a human goddamn um shuttle bus uh, shuttle pass goddamn machine 
Uh, and Dean, at this stage, he was like, damn, bro, who is this guy? Like, this guy really the white mama? This guy's strong as shit. And that's, in his, those, those shutter machine was like, yo, yeah, I try to tell you. That's the guy with the glasses, blonde hair. He was like, I try to tell you. Like, that guy is dangerous. Like, be careful. Like, he built different. Boy, he's skinny, but he built different. Do not fuck with this boy. He, he will slay you. So Dean, I think, at that moment, started taking him seriously. Now, Eugene pulled up to the human calculator because he was trying to help help out the team, you know, Jake's Goonie, he was trying to help out, so Eugene grabbed him, he's like, man, I'll take the beating, whatever, but I, I can't let anybody get outnumbered, I can't be that fucking useless, so I'm gonna be in here, you know what I'm saying, then I don't know where, from the depths of hell, Teddy, bro, Teddy looks up, and he's like, man, who fucked, and then next thing, bah, crack, got jaw broken, I don't know if his jaw broken, I'm just, you know, exaggerating, but, bah, just somebody drops on the floor, Goo! I'm like, woo, what happened? You just see Yu Chang. Yu Chang is just dropped. And Yu Chang is being showcased to be strong as shit. And they built him up. If you look at when we first introduced to Yu Chang, he's out here in the in, in, in starting bullies. He's starting a group of bullies. He beat one of them easily. And then the other two just got scared. He was ready to solo all three bullies. Interestingly, who else did we have a similar story with? How, who the hell am I get beaten by? Detroned by Rowan. Now Rowan's only weakness, like we've talked about many a times, is his mentality, his fear. And we saw that in this chapter, he faced it because fuck it, we gotta save Big Ben. Fuck it, I can't let the team down. Fuck it, I gotta do what I can. You know what I'm saying? We saw that he's way stronger than Philip, but he was scared of Philip and he just cowered. You know what I'm saying? And we know that he's scared of Dean. But right now he's like, even if I'm not gonna fight Dean directly, I'm gonna beat one of his henchmen. And he got up, man, and just elbow them up bro i was like god damn that's the hyper elbow that's the australian guillotine that's the oh uh, head chopper huh, big blocker <laughs> you know what i'm saying shout out rewind that shit was amazing that shit was beautiful i was like oh my god this is the type of sauce i'll be like oh you know what i'm saying i was like this shit is amazing enjoy this chapter immensely because of that twist because honestly when i was reading i was like it's kind of a boring chapter bro it's kind of a, uh but it was worth it for what he was building up he wanted you to like you know what i'm saying focus on everything else and other details and not focus on Rowan because he was getting his ass whooped anyway you think okay gray is gonna do some shit boom boom but the author was like no 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 he's not the only motherfucker that got sauce Rowan got it and he changed the dynamic of the fight because now the one ahead now the one person ahead that gives them all the advantage in the world i think they can take your business quick and hopefully finally please by the name of jesus please please let us get to big ben and jake man we all know that's the goddamn fight of the century that's the goddamn that's what we be oh that's what we be oh my god that's what we be doing that's so you know what I'm saying? Yo, first of all, Donald Knight himself is threatened by Big Ben because he's like, we got to get rid of that Big Ben motherfucker. We got to get rid of him now. He he causing too much trouble, this boy. He causing too much trouble because we can't stop. With, they already have a guy that can beat Wolf. I know Big Ben can beat Wolf already, but they also got another motherfucker that can beat Wolf. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So if we can't get rid of Big Ben, there's no way in hell we're going to get rid of the other guy. You know what I'm saying? Because... Big Ben be there. If him and Big Ben is GG, man, it's a struggle. I ain't ready to be fighting dudes like Big Ben. Not right now. Because remember, Big Ben at that time fought so many people. So many people, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was after beating, I think, was it Miles Jew? Or was it, um, who's the guy that, that fought uh, Wolf and was getting an ass whooping? I think it was Miles. Forgive me if it's not Miles. Just if you can say the name, somebody comment the name below. But the guy that fought Wolf from the Union, like he fought him, then he fought like for all his friends, then he fought uh, Donald Knott straight after that. Come on, bro. And he was still standing. And it wasn't until they left him alone that he just, you know what I'm saying? Shot Jake Loki saved him without him knowing. Jake Loki saved him that day because Jake called and he was like, yo. I need that help at that moment. And I love how all of that ties in together. So I'm very excited. I don't know. I hope they don't make it on time because obviously they spent all the time fighting. I hope they don't make it on time because I really want the Jake and Big Ben fight to go uninterrupted. I don't want to see no BS. I don't want to see. I know that other group is going there. Maybe Big Ben and Jake will end up fighting that group, obliterating that group, and then fighting each other. Uh, but even that kind of takes away from who's stronger because stamina is an issue. You know what I'm saying? I know we haven't really seen stamina be an issue, 
but it might come into play. You know what I'm saying? I think it just creates too much. Maybe it's on purpose to create like, oh, if they were 100 percent, who would have won? You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's the the route that they're taking. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I, I enjoyed this chapter, man. Rowan started the show. I'm so proud, so happy that he got his shine because he was kind of like, I like Rowan, but man, why is he so scared all the goddamn time? Why is he so goddamn scared? He got the souls if he's just not goddamn so scared. And boom, we saw it. It's been your boy Supreme Chief God. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Roll the 600. I'm out. I got friends now.